Hey guys, how are we doing? My name is Christian Lander and we're here for the Saturn Junkyard once again. And we are playing the Sublime and incredibly weird, huge big head mode that is Virtual Finder Kids. I picked this up today. Um, I picked it up for Roberto Cristio from our Saturn Junkyard alumni, shall we say, alumni. And it's pretty cool. I've uh, had a bit of this a few seconds ago. I thought. Let's get it recorded, make sure you can see that the game is working, which is always the best thing before you send the game on time. And uh, so what, what it is, so the story is, I went to uh, a brand new opening to that yesterday of uh, CX, opened it actually in my little local town. So I went along just to see what kind of things they had in store and some goodies, and I managed to pick up some, um, they had quite a few Saturn games there, quite a few Dreamcast games, so I managed to pick up a few things. And I posted the picture in the group of chat, as you know. So I picked up uh, Virtual Fighter Kits, I picked up that for... Roberto Cristino, as I said. Until Winter Heat, a game I'm absolutely sure I have, yet I cannot find it anywhere. And I also bagged myself Capcom vs. SNK, a game that I had on my Dreamcast. Uh, remarkably, for a game that is this old, the case is in good nick. Of course, I'll show you the hinges there. Which is always a benefit and also a bonus. Man, so, I've just seen something really interesting. So, uh, this is the main menu of Virtual Fighter Kids, and it the person sat at the arcade cabinet there is a girl. Two players, a girl and a guy. See, Virtual Fighter is completely gender inclusive. That's pretty awesome. Because me and my girlfriend, we've always played Virtual Fighter together. Um, it's pretty cool, in fact. I, I, I taught her how to play Virtual Fighter. Um, I, I tend to main between Wolf and, uh, and Sarah. And uh, so I thought I would teach her the counter characters so she could play against me quite competitively. So I taught her the likes of Leon and Brad and so on. And uh, we have some really good competitive matches. But so what is Virtual Fighter Kids really? So Virtual Fighter Kids came out just after Virtual Fighter 2. It's running on the STV arcade board. And features basically the character cast of Virtual Fighter 2 in SD, super deformed chibi mode. Um, so like I said, I'm made between um, Wolf and Sarah. Um, Virtual Fighter 2's moveset really kind of favoured... Some of the faster characters. Uh, Wolf in this wasn't really great at all. Um, so, I wanted to play as a bit of a faster character. The Wolf already. Sean already getting his uh, hits in there. So, how does this play? This play is pretty good actually. This is pretty smooth. It's 60 frames a second. It's in Saturn's kind of like uber res mode. Let's uh, work out my controls. Because uh, I, so I'm playing this via emulator, right? So I'm playing this uh, on my PC. So using the SSF emulator. And instead of using the traditional Sega Saturn control pad, you've got to score me. You really are. But I'm playing this on a 360 pad. Which, you know, actually lends to an interesting point, interesting uh, question there. So, beyond the Sega Saturn, so when you started playing Virtual Fighter and uh, Fight Vipers on the likes of other consoles and other platforms, such as the PS and uh, like PC and so on. So when it changed from being the the uh, the ABC layout, which perfectly fitted your thumb, and it moved to the diamond shape of the other, I don't know, triangle, square, circle X, and ABXY, what, what's, your, what's your preferred preference and how the layout of the buttons is? So I tend to play it with uh, A as block, uh, X as punch, Y as kick, because that way as grapple, you know, it fits quite comfortably across the old uh, A and X there. And uh, tend to have B as like um, A and Y together. So punch and kick, uh, punch, right. kick and guard together. As the Kirin is laying into me. Wow, you good down, boy, down. The Kirin is always like the pain in the ass character as one you're playing. Particularly which one of five, where he just absolutely rapes you. So he has one kick in, and just, that's it. He just dominated you. Something a stump on the demon, you're screwed. Oh, that's it. There we go. So, big head mode. So, what's it all about? Is it is it really just Virtual Fighter Kids? Well, actually, no, it's not. Virtual Fighter Kids, in fact, is more, should really be called Virtual Fighter SD, which is super deformed, which is a, you know, an art style in Japan called Chibi. Uh, C H I B I. You've probably seen that mentioned a few times. So, basically, it's, it's an incredibly popular kind of quirky art style. Um, the fact that the new Final Fantasy has a chibi mode in there. Uh, if you buy the Android version of Final Fantasy 15 and you buy the Switch version, in fact it's Final Fantasy 15 in chibi mode. And it looks a lot like this. Pie. 
In fact, there we are. And then you go. So for those who don't know, so the arcade version of Virtual Fighter Kids came out in 1996, and uh, I think I never saw the arcade mode, arcade um, of this when it came out back in the release. Don't you? Oh no, you got me. So for those who don't know, if you're a wrestling fan, um, see that move there? Al Snow, wrestler, um, actually took his finisher move from Jackie. And spoke about that. He was a good bit of virtual fighter back, back in the day when he was a younger wrestling training days. If you didn't know. Alright. Foot's not yet. Hey, see, Jackie is kind of a, a bit of an underfair character, really. He kind of a, really excels in this game. He's fast, he's powerful, he's damaging. And uh, the big head mode just uh, allows you to just. He, he perhaps has the longest reach as well outside of, say, Jeffrey and so on. Oh yeah, this game has like triple replay. That's right. So that actually they came a feature in Fighters Mega Mix afterwards, and it was in Fight Vipers as well. Just kick his face, yeah. So the first time I got to play chibi characters, of course, was was Fighters Mega Mix. Uh, we got to play Sarah and Akira in Fighters Mega Mix, released on the sound back in the day. I don't think so. Under the chair. Push, down. You are faster than lightning. Hey, do you remember like in Shenmue how hey, you could uh, you could collect the Virtual Fighter uh, kids figures as well as like the Virtual Fighter Two figures as well? Under the chair we go. So Jackie is almost an unfair fighter. He's so damaging. Taking Virtual Fighter Two. Um, I always thought Sarah was a better character in Virtual Fighter Two. But uh, Jackie was just like, that's the powerhouse. And generally, if you uh, play against anyone who chose him, you, you were in for a hard time. Down you go. High sweep, low sweep. Are we already at Durrell? I was supposed to be, I've been chatting and talking away here. Or we might already be at Durrell. Nope, Lau to go. Lau is an absolute beast in this game. Overpowered and just can just slap with a combo so fast before you know it, yeah, life bar's gone. I don't know. Yeah. Let's block that punch. Yeah, that's right. So you know something that's really weird about this game is that. So although I said running on the Sonic emulator, right? So this it doesn't have it runs much better on sound. It has this kind of strange scan lines and stuff. Let me see if I can pause it. Um, so you can see what I mean by that. Uh, no? No, I guess it's only there in animation. Nice kick, by the way. So yeah, you, if you look at the screen during certain moves, it has these kind of, like, um, flicker lights. Now, I'd never see them, actually, on the physical Saturn edition. Um, and it's, in America, there's this big thing around, like, uh, scan lights. Now, as a, as a PAL gamer, I don't think we, I ever saw them in a game. I really don't. Um, but for the King of Fighters, I think King of Fighters had scan lines in by default. But um, no, I never saw that. And I see like a lot of gamers make a big deal out of making sure it's there, particularly when they play in CRT mode and so on. Man, Kage, you just took a beat. That's right. Under the chin, under the chin we go. Low kick. He's got such limited moves on this Jackie has, but he's probably, he has most effective moves on this. There was something I did read in the, some of the tech specs about this game. So I did have a quick read of some of the things like when it came out, so, so I sounded like I knew what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so uh, one of the things about Virtual Fighter Kids is actually it was a bit of a test bed for Virtual Fighter 3. It's actually where they tested um, tracking the eyes between the two characters. So the eyes always met each other, and they then tested that and developed that in this, or for this, really. So it's likely what happened is they took the Virtual Fighter 2 characters, gave them big head modes so it was easy to see, and they went, ooh, uh, this is like a game we could sell, and they did. 
The game is certainly faster than Roger Fighter 2 is. It's, uh. Yeah. Down you go, yeah. You see his red eyes, you know, kicked her in the face there. The Atlantean background, I'll oh, get out of the way of that. Grab, no. Don't think so. Do you not think Durrell is perhaps the only story in the game? So like, what, what I mean by that is, right, so if you look at, say, Tekken, it's perhaps his most primary opposite example, where there's a continuing story in there about devils and angels and revenge and thorough uh, Japanese samurai anime style. Um, stories that are happening. In Fudge of Fire, the only one that actually is actually there is Darrell, right? Darrell being uh, Kage's mother, which I guess is a revelation at the end of Virtual Fighter 2, where you see on the... Uh, if you finish the game on hard, you see uh, Kage's mother breaking out of Darrell, and that perhaps is the only storyline in Virtual Fighter that's actually happened in-game. Other than that, you just see Virtual Fighter 3, where you see uh, Jeffrey with his... Um, Javelin, stamina a shark, um, and there's this whole J6 syndicate thing who's brainwashed one of the characters, I think it's brainwashed Jackie or Sarah, one of them. That's it! You know, and we're now like Virtual Fighter 5, which came a few years ago now, when you think about it. Uh, it's had a few uh, rehashes and uh, re updates and so on. But in terms of Virtual Fighter, there's not much going on in terms of story. But in terms of the gameplay, it's much more addictive. So what we got here as the other options. We have uh, Combo Maker, we have Viewing Mode, Records, Key Configuration, and the Standard Options. I am aware that I'm, I must have read it somewhere. Oh, there's meant to be the instruction manual. That there is, in fact, a first person mode where you kind of look through your character in. Um, you can see the wireframe version of your character and the camera is kind of inset in the head. You see them fight from the first person view. I'm sure that is in Virtual Fighter uh, Kids here. I don't know, that's all you know. Let's just pause that in a second. Let's let it do this thing. So, here's an interesting thing I found when it came to putting the other cover I've got here in the top left of your screen. So, I found in the, the covers in different areas of the world are very different. And then this is, I wanted to draw your attention to this. So, if we look at, say, the Japanese cover, which I'll send over. Uh, now, this is the default Japanese cover, right? So this is the cover of the, of the standard version of Virtual Fighter Kids. And if we look at the cover here of the PAL edition, I'll send that over to you there. Similar cover, you got Jeffrey up in the air, you got Wolf there, you've got Pi and uh, Lao balancing on, on a boat there. Somebody's like laying on the floor, I mean, I don't know, Kip, whatever. However, uh, let's look at the US version. Yeah, it's a full-on breakout mode, everyone's kind of like standing strong, standing forward, everyone's kind of taking center stage there. However, if you were to look at um, all those covers again, so let's just quickly bring that up. So you've got uh, Akira is always at the front cover, right? Akira technically is supposed to be the, the main character, the Ryu Hazuki, effectively, of Virtual Fighter. But in the original artwork of Virtual Fighter Kids, Jackie here has the front cover. He is the front face of Virtual Fighter. And I, I don't know whether that was intentional, unintentional, but I wouldn't have think so. This is a Sega artwork. They're putting this out there as their main character. Now, this is the original version that was released with called uh, Java T, as you can see there, was the main sponsor of Virtual Fighter Kids. Um, I don't think it was when it hit the arcade or when it came to the console. Um, Shundi basically has a, a can of tea, basically. Um, as opposed to beer, oh, oh sorry, as opposed to wine and what would he drink? Uh, sake, I guess, um, to get pissed on, <laughs> as, as they do. But yeah, you don't see that in the uh, other versions. It's always Akira, Akira, and uh, Akira. Akira is always at the forefront. But in that original version, it was Jackie. Now, I don't know about you, you know you play Virtual Fighter, who do you think is actually the main character of the story? If Virtual Fighter is Virtual Fighter RPG, which basically means that uh, Shenmue is the um, is the archetype story, perhaps the Virtual Fighter RPG is what it was supposed to be. Um, Akira, Ryo Hazuki are the, are the, the same effect character. But this put Jackie at the forefront. So I wonder what Jackie's story actually is behind this Syndicate stuff, and is that somehow intertwined 
with the mythos of Shemu. Is Jackie's story hidden in there? Um, I don't know. But hey, look, I'm here to test this game to make sure I send it over to Roberto Cristiano to make sure it works okay. Yes, it does work absolutely fine. Works absolutely great, dude. This is on your. This is on the way to you, as soon as. So anyway, my name is Christian Lander. I hope you've had um, a fun time here tonight. I've had a bit of a blast, bit of a blast playing this. Bit of a memory, memory time, shall we say? This has been pretty cool. Look, guys, have fun, and I'll speak to you soon. Okay.